What up, people? What's good? Uh, I want to show you how to fucking put emulated your emulated games on Steam because I had trouble with this, and this is a program to use for it. And it's supposed to do it like when you use it, when you go to it, download it, or whatever. It's supposed to do it automatically, but that didn't really work for me. And I had to put them in manually and like and name them and do whatever, you know. So um, I'm gonna do that shit for you guys today. Um, yeah. Uh, so you go to this website right here, Scott Trice GitHub blah 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 slash ice, or you could just Google Ice for Steam or whatever. If you can't, if this text is too hard to read, I'll put it in the description or whatever. But download it. I already did it. Download it and install it. Y'all should know how to do that. Y'all tech savvy. You got that shit. So download it and install it and shit. And then I put mine in my documents folder. And it sh you should make a folder or it should make a folder for you. I don't remember which one. That says ICE. Right? You click it. And then this is the application. You're going to click on it to start it. And what it asks you to do, I believe, is to put, like in the readme it says, I think you got to put you know the ROMs in a certain folder or whatever I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you how my folders are too and it's supposed to put the games in there for you but that shit wouldn't work for me so I'm gonna just show you how I put them in there and how I uh, label mine or whatever how I got to name them right okay so uh, the first the first thing that I did or the first thing you want to do go to Steam open up Steam all right click um click add a game all right? add a non Steam game and then this list of shit gonna pop up, of course. And you wanna look for your emulator. I'm using Dolphin as an example, cause that's the one that I got to work. I think I tried this with the Super Nintendo games, but I don't know if I, I can't remember if I got it to work. I don't think so, cause I don't have any Super Nintendo games up there. But let me, as an example, let me just show you like, um, what the games look like in big picture mode. They look pretty good, they look pretty cool. Let's see, um, uh, my brain. Okay. Let's go to Alright, see like now look. See I got Kirby Air Ride right there. Blood AK. I got Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles right there. I got um Mario Kart Double Dash Mega Bass. And if you click them they work like um let me custom robo. Uh let's click Kirby Air Ride just so I can show y'all. God damn it. But. All right, I'm struggling. All right, just just so you can see. Hopefully, my screen capture picked this shit up. All right, start. All right, this shit works. I don't condone piracy. For the record, I have this game. I own this game. Uh, we not pirates over here, right? can't tell you where to get games because you don't, you know, no piracy. But that's that's the point, right? You, you get the point. It opens in Steam. So we're gonna, we're gonna exit out this real quick. Get out. I don't need a reason. Let's get out of this. Let's get out of this. Come on. Alright, so back. My bad, I exited all the way out of Steam. But I'm gonna show you the process that I go through step by step so you can know how to do it. Because it was it was confusing to me. And I figured out how to do it by reading about it. And I know that like it's a lot easier when people explain it in videos. Especially for a lot of people, especially me, because I, I learn shit by seeing that shit. Like, it's hard to learn things by reading it. You have to read it several times and then it's just Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes things are worded weird, you can't really understand it or whatever, but whatever. Okay, so, this is going to come up again after you click add a game, add a non-steam game. Click browse if Dolphin doesn't show up in here, which it more than likely won't. And then you want to go to, I'm going to go back and show you step by step how I got my shit set up. So, in my hard drive, I got my users folder. My this folder, which is the name of my computer, which is my last name. Don't dox me, bitch. Um, lol. I'm just playing. But um, and then just random folders, you know, that you normally have in there. And then what you want to do is have a folder for your emulators. Have them labeled just like this, like Dolphin. Name it 
just like this dolphin capital D dolphin right click it when you when you get your fucking when you download dolphin and shit and uh, open it you want to open it in this folder have all your shit in there right and then for the games that you want you want to have a, a folder labeled just like this ROMs capital R O M lowercase s ROMs right open it and you want to have the games in separate folders just like this to label just like this make sure you label them just like this all right and then here put all your games in here right hot you know we own these games sure okay but um do that and then also oh another thing i forgot to mention in the ice folder you gonna have all these fucking or all these text documents right and the one the one that says consoles right here in the consoles one it's gonna have all these things right here and when you first get it it's gonna look like this so for example this one it says nintendo entertainment system nickname nes i think that's the folder that it's gonna look for or the emulator that it's gonna look for and where it says emulator it's gonna be blank so what you want to do is type the name of the emulator after that equal sign right there right next to it no spaces dolphin right there just like that right so you want to do that in the in the consoles thing and then in the emulators one you want to go down to well I think it's gonna hold up because there's a there's like okay here it is in the in the config notepad I want to say no this is I don't know what this is but regardless I'm gonna just show it to you because so in the emulators one you want it to say for dolphin you want it to look just like this right or you want to if I think once you run ice this will get put in there if not you could type this in here and it should be fine type this just like this dolphin in the the square parentheses what are those called brackets location equals Z this is my path file basically that's basically the path to your dolphin you know uh, application so it, you want it to be the the path that you went it, it, and it should be this like I showed you emulators dolphins and then just dolphin.exe so whatever your drive is slash emulator slash dolphins exe and then this right here whatever this says command equals blah 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 right you wanted to say this okay and then save that shit and then if 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 not this part there is definitely tutorials for this part on the internet that you can see or on youtube i'm gonna just show you the part with steam okay so that's done when you run ice that should go that should be the only thing that works automatically okay but okay now we're back to this we're back to add a game right we're adding a game hopefully i do this shit clear enough i don't confuse a lot of people but okay after we go to add a game we want to go to our drive where we have dolphin at so we click emulators we click dolphin click dolphin again right click the, the actual emulator then it's going to come up with a check mark right here and then you click add selected programs right and then go to your games and it should pop up right here dolphin with the um with the thing and then if you click if you notice if you click play it'll come up it'll come up right but you want it to go to that and then pass that to an actual game right so if you just run it through ice normally and you just put the game up it'll it'll start to play it and then you'll get an error message so this is the way i do it this way it'll open dolphin for sure and then we can change it so it'll it'll go through the game all right so what you want to do is click the one you just made that says dolphin click properties or you right click it and then you click properties and then okay for the first part you want to you want to name it the game that you want it to be so i'm gonna put billy hatcher on here so i'm gonna put billy e-i-l-l-y hatcher hope i spelled that right and then for these boxes you can only change one at a time as far as i'm concerned like so you want to type the name of the game and then click close it's going to change right here to billy hatcher right click it again click properties and then this the this the line you want to change right here the one that says target right and what you want to change it to is this right here i, I save this ice command line for an example 
you wanted to, so what you wanted to say is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this big so you can see the whole thing. What you wanted to say is this right here. Um, quotes, the drive that it's in. This one says C, so I gotta change that to Z because that was my, that was the old drive that I was using. Z and then colon, right? That's a colon or the two dots, whatever it's called. This slash, backslash, right? And then all the, all the folders leading up to Dolphin. So whatever folders you have in, which should be this, users, the name of your computer, emulators, Dolphin folder, and then Dolphin.exe, and then end quotes. And then after the end quotes, you want it to have a space, right, a space, another space, forest, oops, forward slash right here, little e, another space, and then the drive again. So this, again, I'm gonna change this to Z, colon, and then the file path again, through ROMs to the game you wanted to play. So, you know, users, your name, com or computer name, ROMs, uh, whatever game you're trying to go to, mine is a GameCube game. And then this is just an example that I saved. So, I'm gonna copy this. You guys can type type this up, and you can put like variables in here so you don't have to, you, so you can save it to a text document like I did, so you don't gotta do this every time. So I'm gonna copy it, lower this down. Let's uh, delete this. Right. right, I'm gonna right click, paste, and then go to where you have uh, your ROM saved, which should be the same as mine. It, it just makes it easier, GameCube, right? And then for the game, you wanna you wanna see what type it is. For one, if it says disk image, it's a .dot ISO, and if it says this GCM, then it's .dot GCM or whatever. Okay, most most of them will be disk image or ISO, but you want to you want to right click the game you want to do. You want to click rename, and what you want to do, you want to get rid of all the spaces and like the funky characters like commas and hyphens because they they just make it worse. They it's hard uh, for it to work with those. So I'm gonna just get rid of all the spaces. Billy Hatcher and the giant egg. Right, get rid of all the spaces. Leave it like that, and then uh, you don't have to name the, the full name right here in Steam. You can just I'll just leave that Billy Hatcher. So Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg, no spaces. Um, parentheses USA. You could leave that or you could take it out. I'm gonna leave it just just to show y'all. But okay, so it says Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg, right? So we pasted our our path thing down, right? I'll probably put that in the description too, just so y'all could copy and paste that, so you don't have to, you know, do whatever. So I'm gonna put dot I S O Okay. And then I'm gonna erase all of that. Remember the dot ISO is supposed to be at the end. That's my old game that I have. Final Fantasy so B I Billy Hatcher. And I would I would leave I would make sure I put all the, the things that are caps, leave them caps. So let me make sure. I spelled this right. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Okay. Hopefully I spelled this right. So I don't look stupid. Billy Hatcher and the... Oops, I'll put a space like a dumbass. Giant Egg. I'm so used to... Um, normally typing. Alright, so that's my, that's my path, right? To get to my game. I gotta change this to Z because that's where the game is. Same thing with this, and you don't change none of this, leave all of this, because that's the path to get to Dolphin EXE. And then again, the two spaces, four slash E, space, and then the other drive. Inside the parentheses, right? So parentheses right here, right here. And then, if y'all got questions, y'all can just type them in the comments, I'll answer them. And then, I think it's parentheses at the end, too. So pretty sure. All right, so, and then we just want to close that. And then, let's see if it works. Quick play. No, I didn't work. Oh, you know, because you know what it was? Alright, ready? Properties. Go back to this. I didn't put the USA part. So, that's a good example of making sure you put the whole thing. So, either erase USA from, from the name of the game right here. Either erase it from right here or make sure you put it in when you put it right here. So, I put USA. I'm going to close. Let's quick play. Does it matter who was wrong and who was right? 
So as you can see, it works for us. The Steam thing popped up in the bottom right corner. I'm going to play a little bit of it just so y'all can see. I'm playing this with my GameCube controller. Okay, it's not even working. Whatever, my controller's not working, but... Oh, wait. Let me see. It was just working in Curdy Air Ride, though. But, okay. but anyway, y'all see that it works. That's, that's all I needed to show y'all. That's why my adapter is not plugged in. But anyway, that's how you do it. But also another thing, if you want to change this dolphin sound right here, I'm going to show you um, a website to go to. I think I saved it. I, I should have. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, there's, there's a website called Steam Banners right here. All right, let's go. And you can type in... Any, I think it's it's called steambanners.booru.org, but you could just Google Steam Banners and it should be it should come up. So I'm gonna um, type in the name of the game that I want, Billy Hatcher. Oops. Okay, Billy Hatcher. Let's look. Da -da 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 I don't know why my shit's taking so long. Alright, so just pick one that you like. I like this one right here. Click it. It's gonna come up. Is it gonna come up? Okay, it came up. So, it's taking forever. But, right click it and you save it. I'm gonna save it in my ice folder under icons. Like in my ice folder, I made another folder named Icons, and this is where I saved all my things at. So I'm gonna name it Billy, just so I know which one it is. Save. So, alright, put this down. And then right here, after you name the game, Properties. Um, and then right here next to the Dolphin, you click Choose Icon. And then you wanna go to your, like I said, I got my ice folder in my Documents folder, so. Wow, okay. Windows. No? No. Okay, here you go. Go to go to C, go to users, uh, computer name. Documents, ice, my icons folder that I made myself, and then the file type down here. Click the arrow down, and then click all files, and then all the pictures should show up. And then I name mine Billy, so open that, and then it should change. Close. All right now let's let's go to big picture mode and see if it works. Yep. And then as you can see, it worked. Billy has her right there. It'll flash, it'll do this, and it should come up. So if you if you had trouble using ICE and getting your games to work, because I know it's supposed to do it automatically, but it doesn't. It's not that good or whatever. Um, yeah, do it like that, and it should be it should work. It should work for you. It should be fine. And if you have the fucking the official Nintendo adapter thing for Wii U, you could just plug that joint in. And plug in a GameCube controller and it should work. So yeah, that was my tutorial. That was my first tutorial. Let me know if it was helpful, how it was, if if um it works for you. Let me know if it works for you. If not, just ask me some questions or if I went too fast or if I messed up something. Just let me know and then I try to answer your questions and I try to um I try to help you out and help you to get it to work. But so far I've only got that to work with Dolphin and GameCube games. If I figure out how to do it for other games like 64 and um, Super Nintendo, which because I like those games a lot, then I'll show y'all that too. So, um, but for now, that's all I really gotta say. That's all I really gotta show you guys. Uh, I hope this shit was helpful because 
I wish I would have seen a video like this when I was trying to do this shit, but you know, the internet is a motherfucker and reading is a powerful thing. But uh, that's all for today, folks. And uh, I think that's it. I'm gonna let you niggas go. Deuces. Stupid. <laughs>